<sighs> All right. What's going on, guys? Your boy, the Real Scorpio YT here. Welcome to another tier listing video. Last time we did the fast food joint tier list, and now we'll be doing the best cereals tier list maker. Now, I eat, I've eaten a lot of cereals. I've eaten almost all of them. But is there any of these that I haven't had? I think there's some that I haven't had in here as well. So we're going to get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content. And let's get into it. Let me just put in my other uh, earphone. Apple cinnamon, bro. Now that's a good cereal. So does that really carry it to an A tier? I don't think it does. I think that's a B tier cereal. It's a good cereal. I'm not going to judge anybody about it. It's a good cereal. But to be honest, I'd rather have something like Apple Jacks. You know? Cookie Crisp. I've had a lot of Cookie Crisp in my time. But I'm going to have to go to C. I'm going to have to go to C, okay? Then here's the thing, guys. I don't want cookies for breakfast. I don't. I don't. Plus, they, they taste okay. They taste all right, all right? They're not too special. It's just like ordinary cookies, you know, in a bowl. It's not really a breakfast thing. Special K. I have never, besides from a few cereals, I have never in my life had a more depressed cereal. It's not good. It reminds me of my grandmother's uh, cupboard. Not, not saying anything about my grandma. I love my grandma to death, but there's nothing good about Special K. There's nothing good about it. Kicks. I've never actually had kicks, so I can't rate it. Apple Jacks. Now you're talking good cereal. Apple Jacks is a great cereal. It gets me going. Every day, and I have, I've had so much Apple Jacks. Easy A. Easy A tier. I love Apple Jacks, but I think it's tilting towards the uh, S tier. Yeah. Corn Flakes. Again, this is a cereal I was very disappointed about. Very disappointed. The only reason why I'm not putting... This out of D tier, and even this was from to the top man, and I agree with this. You can use it elsewhere, where okay? You can use it for other things. If you couldn't use it for anything else, I I, I put it in D. I would put it in D for sure. Oh, uh, I've never actually had the count uh, chocular, but I've heard that one's actually pretty good. Captain Crunch. Now, I think I'm gonna surprise. A lot of people. B. Captain Crunch is a B tier cereal. Here's why. It's got a little bit of sweetness. Nothing too special. Um, and those things hurt. My mouth sometimes. They do hurt. And they're, they're sharp ass cereals. And it hurts my mouth... That's why I don't. That's why I can't rate it any higher. Rice chicks. I mean, rice chicks. Look, get, the, get get the fuck down there. Like, rice chicks is so fucking boring. D tier cereal. Nothing else, for sure. Uh, I've never had actually the peanut butter Captain Crunch. Honey badges with oats. There have been a lot of cereals that. That I fall in love with. And that one of them is Honey Bunches of Oats. For sure. 100%. I love Honey Bunches of Oats. Love it. I, I love Honey Bunches of Oats. That's all I can really say about it. Rice Krispies, man. Rice Krispies. This is an interesting one. Because I like Rice Krispies. But they don't have a whole lot of flavor. Like, I think I have to put sugar in them. And that's why... Does that really carry it to an A tier for the Pops? 
I don't think it can. Yeah. Because you can make Rice Krispies today. You can also use it elsewhere. That's why I'm putting it at A. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Guys, if you don't put Cinnamon Toast Crunch at an S, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Then you, get, then you have had good cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is so good. I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It is one of those cereals that I would want every single day. And drinking the cinnamon from the milk is unreal. That's why I rank it at an S tier. Frosted mini weeds, bro. This is where we're getting into really good cereal. We're getting into pretty good cereal. Uh, I feel like you have to let them soak in, soak into the milk. But when you do, it's so good. And they're filling. They are filling. Okay, they're filling. So you can't really have much of as much of them. I don't know. Uh, I think a B tier is a fair answer. I think it's fair. Frosted Mini Wheats is a good cereal, but no, you know what? Actually, Rice Krispies goes down to a B, and then Mini Wheats add a A, I guess. Because I'd rather. No, I'm kidding. No, I guess they both go down there. It's fine. I know I make a lot of weird decisions. Because I'd rather have uh, Apple Jacks over Mini Mini Wheats. Honey Nut Cheerios. This type of Cheerios, I think, is the best kind of Cheerios. They bring me so happy. I think it's an S-tier cereal. That's it. I can't say anymore. It's it's an S-tier cereal. It is so good. That's all I have to say. Reese's Puffs. Now you're talking. I love Reese's Thins, Reese's Cups. For my love of that and cereal with chocolate peanut butter, that's an S tier. That is a godlike cereal. And you cannot take that away from me. Oh, I haven't had the Rice Krispie Treats, like the cereal. Sorry, I haven't. <laughs> Cheerios, man. I'm going to have to break that out of C, actually, because I would really... Uh, they're not very good as normal cereal. <laughs> they're not really good in milk. I think they're much better to just take some out of the box and put them in a Ziploc bag for school. Hopefully, you guys can agree with me. But yeah, it's a C. Lucky Charms. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say S. But... In my personal opinion, it's an A tier. A T cereal. I know you guys say S, and I respect it. Lucky Charms, it's a great cereal. It's a great cereal. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it tastes amazing. But to be honest, oh, this is tough, actually, for A and S. Uh, yeah, because I would rather have, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Nut Cheerios, Reese's Puffs. I would rather have those than Lucky Charms, for sure. Cocoa Krispies. I like these ones better than normal Rice Krispies. I would. I really would. I prefer them. Because I like it when they turn in, turn the milk into chocolate milk. So that's going into an A tier. And that's why, yeah, I, I just like chocolate milk. Uh, when milk turns into chocolate milk for those, I think that's cool. Now you're talking, um, probably in my opinion, the best cereal in the world, Fruit Loops. I fucking love Fruit Loops. I love Fruit Loops. Okay, here's why. You know how most some some fruity cereals are just too fruity. Fruit Loops is not bad. I like that. Like that decent fruit flavor. I like that. That's what I prefer. I don't like that big blasting of flavor. And that, I like that decent amount of fruit, of that fruity flavor in the Fruit Loops. And that's why it's going S tier. Raisin Bran. I can see two Raisin Brands, so I'm going to put them both at the same. I like Raisin Bran. I really do. 
Uh, I think because... Hmm. Yeah, that's an A tier. That is definitely an A tier. I like them because it on all these it depends on my day really. <sighs> that's really uh, Raisin Bran is an underrated cereal, but it's good. It's really good. I love it. Golden Crisp. Golden Crisp suck. They don't taste good. They're underwhelming. It's a D tier fucking cereal. Nothing else. Fruity Pebbles. This is what I've been talking about, about fruity cereals. Like, I don't like it when, I don't really like it when it's so much bursting of fruitness. Because I think the fruit overpowers the milk, in my opinion. And that's why I put Fruity Pebbles at a B. You guys are going to probably be mad at me, but I don't care. Cocoa Puffs. I don't actually think I've had Cocoa Puffs. So I'm going to put it there. Frosted Flakes. Now. Easy S. One of the easiest S's, for sure. If you're talking about one of the goaded cereals, great texture, great flavor, the milk tastes good, a great branding, by the way. I, I love Frosted Flakes. I love them. Uh, Captain Crunch Berries. I don't really think it's as good as a normal Captain Crunch. I'm not a huge fan of berries for Captain Crunch. So that's why I put it there. Honeycomb. That is another S-tier cereal, by far. <sighs> great texture. Great flavor. They soak into the milk. I like it when it goes through the milk. The milk goes through the holes. And onto the cereal, too. And the milk still tastes good. That's why I love them. I've never had tricks. Never had tricks. Because I think it's an American cereal. Corn pops. They pop, but they don't pop enough. I think I think corn pops are great cereal. They're a great cereal, but they're a great marketing for sure. I don't think they're an S tier because lightly sugared, you know. I like the crunch and everything, but Again, they don't excite me as much more as like, you know, um, a Frost Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then the last two, Cocoa Pebbles and Honey Smacks, I've actually never had. That's, that's my tier list, guys. Hope you liked it. So in S tier, we have Honey Batches of Oats, Bunches of Oats, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Nut Cheerios, Reese's Puffs, Fruit Loops, Honeycomb, Frosted Flakes. A tier. Apple Jacks, Lucky Charms, Cocoa Krispies, Raisin Brands, and Corn Pops. B tier, Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, Captain Crunch, Rice Krispies, Frosted Mini Wheats, Fruity Pebbles. C tier, Cookie Crisp, Corn Flakes, Cheerios, Captain Crunch Berries, and then the worst three cereals, Special K, Rice Chex, and Golden Crisp. And then the ones I never had, Kicks, Cocoa Pebbles, Count Chocula, Peanut Butter Crunch, Rice Krispie Treats, Cocoa Puffs, Tricks, and Honey Smacks. All right. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And Hunter, I'll be doing that DreamWorks tier list soon. soon okay? Peace out.